Bismarck has three public and two private high schools. When Bismarck residents pay property tax to the school district, their money supports the public schools, but not the private. That's how it works across North Dakota. But Joel Crane is at the Capitol to tell us why that might soon change. Joel? Monica, vouchers are a hotly contested issue. Now, proponents say that parents should have the option to send their kids to private schools if they so choose, regardless of their income. People who are opposed to vouchers say that funneling money from the state to private schools would be at the detriment of the public school system. Now, the reason why this is all relevant is because today, the state Senate passed House Bill 1532, which would create a voucher system in North Dakota. For some, the issue of vouchers for private education is a no-brainer. I think it's completely appropriate for the tax dollars that they pay to follow their child to a private school. But others say the proposed voucher program, for which families at 500% of the poverty line or lower would be eligible, is bad policy. We still only help poor children up to 130% of poverty. And now we're talking 500%. That 130% figure refers to kids who are eligible to receive free school meals. Earlier this session, the Senate voted down a proposal to increase that to 200%. If we have money to fund private education, we certainly have money to, to feed children. The school meals provision was revived in a separate bill and will soon be voted on again in the House. As for vouchers, some lawmakers believe it empowers parents who couldn't otherwise afford private education. Now, I'm going to support this bill because I want to support parents, especially those that might be in the position they cannot make the decision that they want to for the betterment of their child and their education. Some say vouchers are unconstitutional because of a clause in the state constitution that reads, no money raised for the support of the public schools of the state shall be appropriated to or used for the support of any sectarian school. You know, is this in violation? I guess there's a lot of things that are in question for that. I guess the courts will decide that if we're in violation or not. Still others believe it's a solution in search of a problem. I think of that as a response to education systems, public education systems that are broken. I, I absolutely believe our public education system in North Dakota is not broken. The bill heads back to the House for concurrence on amendments. Now, the bill originally would have cost $24 million, and they have since cut it down to about $10 million. Now, opponents say that that $10 million would still funnel private funds to public, public education, and so they are opposed to that, um, and they're worried that this one day could lead to fully funded private educations in the state of North Dakota. At the Capitol, I'm Joel Crane reporting for Your News Leader.